All right, welcome back to a Blue Spring Farm video here. We got the, the cabin behind me here, and uh, as you can see, we've got pretty much all the roof framing all done. I'm gonna take you inside, show you a little things about what we did, and how we did them, and what we're gonna be doing next. All right, so walking up into the cabin here, um, to do the roof, you, you're gonna need some kind of scaffolding, uh, the ladders that you know going up and down ladders ain't gonna be the best idea but uh as far as our our uh, beam up top we attached a couple of two by tens and that came out pretty well all of our roof joists uh those we cut bird's mouth in out of two by eights and those are on every uh six inch on the center like i mentioned in the previous video and then they, uh, it's an 812 pitch is the, is the pitch of this cabin. It's going to be a vaulted ceiling. Uh, this, this beam here or support is just temporarily. Um, we just have it there just kind of make sure there was no sagging as we were putting everything together. And then we ran our grid here, um, our bracing for, for our metal that we're going to lay down. That strengthened up everything a whole lot. This thing does not move. Uh, we used uh, one by fours for all that, and just nailed them up on the on the rafters there. And let's talk about our gable ends. So <clears throat> gable ends are pretty easy. Uh, we just use two by fours here to kind of frame it all in, and those are sixteen on center as well. Uh, they are face the uh, the three and a half inch long way. Uh, that way they're butted up flush. As you can see there. Those turned out really good. And what we're going to do is we're going to put some more OSB 716 um, siding on the gable in there. Re house wrap that. And our siding, exterior siding, will go all the way up to the, up to the pitch right up there. This piece right here is stained. This is permanent. This little brace is not permanent. That's going to come down as well. And yeah, we have another one right there. That's going to come down. And we went with an 8-inch overhang all the way down. Now we're going to start blocking it in. So what we're doing is we got Billy here cutting some, what are these, 2x8s. Uh, these are left over from our uh, rafters that we put up. So... We don't want all this to go to waste, and luckily uh, they fit pretty well in here. We just got to do a little bit of cutting on the table saw here. But So what it is is one of these blocks is going to go right, right in between there on every single one, all the way around. And what we did is we went through and kind of measured everything to make sure we had the right measurements between all here. Uh, and that's how we're going to cut all these up. So... Stay tuned and uh, let's get started cutting. Got it? Yeah. Now, from that mark over to the center of this raptor right here, how far is that? What's the distance? Straight over like this? Yeah, to the center of that middle of the raptor. Or the middle. This middle? Yeah, mm -hmm. right there. 30 inches? Close. It's 20. I mean, it could be 30. 29 and 7 eighths. Almost. Yeah, might as well do 30. Yeah, it's like this. Alright, so the same as the other end.
Another thing I want to do is remove a sheet and mark these where they're going to go into each other and drill them. That way, when we overlap, I've got one hole that we can just pop, pop, put them in. That way you know where to put them. Be perfect. But you got to remove one because that's the one that's going to pull two. One of them's going to go down there and one of them's going to start down here. You know what I mean? So all the wood, or not wood, all the metal is drilled. What we did is we went ahead and drilled uh, some some holes. And I'll explain what those are. Uh, so this this end is what what you call the fat lip. This is your overlap. This is what goes on top of that fat lip. So what we're doing is we're starting on this side, which will be the left side of the cabin over there, and. Um, these are going to be basically where the ridge is. So the ridge is going to be up here. Um, we got our one by fours up there, and we went in and measured everything to get it on center. What we're going to be doing is we're leaving these drilled for when they overlap. That one's not drilled. Basically, that one's going to be hanging off the edge over there a little bit. So when we overlap on that one and go down the the cabin there, these will give us something to drill into and keep everything symmetrical. What we did is we went ahead and did two at the top on each in between each uh ridge each high and th and they're putting the lows they're putting the lows only thing going on high is the overlap and then down the middle which is the field area um you got your in you got your top and then you got the end so it, right in here we just did a couple couple screw holes so we got one so instead of doing two we just put one one and then on this end, we did two. So that's going to be what overlaps into here. We had did two on that end. Hope that kind of makes sense. And went ahead and did several holes down the ridge there. That way everything is nice and tight. And at the bottom, you can see two, two, two. Went up, two, one, one, one on that ridge. So that's it. We got a ridge cap right there. That's uh, there's two pieces in there. That's gonna go to the very top. This is gonna be our uh, foam inserts that are basically to keep the keep uh, from stuff getting in the gaps. But this is uh, our panel metal. Go down here and show you what we did on this panel. So this is just a uh, double-sided adhesive, a little foam piece. So when we overlap, that'll keep uh, keep a nice, good seal. And like I said, so this is gonna we're gonna have a piece overlap this and drill into that. I think we got about five five holes that are gonna go from the bottom to the top. Let's get going. Let's get some roof put on here and uh, decide to see how it starts to look. Want to get it dried in.
just tripped over himself. Alright, come get down. No. No. Get down, you did it all last night. There you go. What I'm gonna do is I'll start on the next one, but I'm gonna I might have to get some bigger back road. Thicker. Yeah, because we're gonna run out. Anyway, so I might get some more. Anyway. I'd get the wide stuff, thick, wide stuff. I should have it the same place that is. guys so i'm gonna give you an update of what we kind of got done so far now uh, i know you've seen a lot of the time lapse and uh some little bit of videos here and there but i'm gonna go into detail on just a few things and then uh we'll go from there so as you can see uh, we got the roof on uh on the cabin there looking pretty good uh we do have our ridge cap put on up there with a overhang this uh the corner sheets here uh, there's a one inch overhang on that ridge cab. We still got to trim up that piece there, but we're going to put on our uh, uh, gable end trim, which we have down here. It's just underneath the cabin for now. But what we'll do is get all the siding up, and uh, we'll have to trim up that edging probably because we're just going to let it kind of hang there. It's not going to attach to the siding. Uh, that's the plan anyways for now. But as you see, we also got all the windows in. Um, right now, currently going through and uh, putting some backer rod in the windows and uh, going to get those uh, sealed up. This is the one that we already did a few videos ago. And then over here, we got the back two. Back two windows. So as far as the uh, overhangs on on the metal, we decided to go with the two inch overhang from our our raptor ends here. Uh, so the metal's got a two inch overhang. Then we're gonna have a porch on the on the front that'll come out to about right in here. It'll be eight foot porch. So we'll come off of the off the bottom beam there and build our porch. So there'll be a step up to the porch, and then that step will go away. The porch will be here. And you can just step right into the building. So we're not gonna really have a whole lot of steps or anything getting into the building, which will be nice. But back to the porch uh, and the uh, metal roof. What we're gonna do is we're gonna extend the metal roof out on the porch and have our gutter system on there, which will tie into our rainwater tanks over there through that pipe right there. It's already in the ground, ready to go. Uh, so we can collect water for this thing. And on the back here, we're just gonna put gutters up right here, all the way down, seamless gutter, and then it'll tie into that pipe right there. So we'll move inside now. Um, we've got a little bit of bracing still up, uh, but everything can pretty much come down. The exciting thing is that we've got uh, our interior walls put up. Uh, here's gonna be kind of the, the kitchen area here. Uh, this door, we still need to put a header on it and whatnot, but this is gonna be a barn sliding door. Uh, it's a 32 inch opening that takes you into the bathroom. So in the bathroom here, we're gonna have a, uh, like a soak tub there. Uh, and that'll be also, that'll, the soak tub will be inside the shower. That's what the plan that we're going for there. A toilet and sink, and then kind of some, uh, probably some storage stuff over here on this wall. Uh, we're trying to keep all the water on this, uh, this end gable end wall there. 
Uh, that way that's right next to our pump house and it'd be easy to plumb everything in. Uh, right underneath this window, we're gonna have a kitchen sink right there. And uh, that'll look pretty good. And everything in here is gonna be all pretty much just uh, either some reclaimed stuff or um, just like really old, like cool cabin features. Nothing really new is going in here. The front door, we still haven't got one yet, so we're still looking for that. But uh, I think we'll find something pretty soon to go in there. And then uh, for everything is gonna be spray foamed in. Um, we're gonna have a mini split right up there. So that's why these walls are not gonna go all the way up. They're gonna be left open like this. And uh, the mini split up there should keep every, this whole place uh, cool and heated. Uh, if, we, if we need to, we might add another one up there. Um, you can see that we added uh, the raptor ties. We got those tied in with the hurricane straps. All every single one of them. Ten screws a piece, four hundred screws. That was fun, but it's pretty solid. It's coming together. So yeah, that's kind of the update for now. Um, today I'm probably gonna work on getting these windows. Uh, all situated uh got to get some some of that back rod still in there i had to go get some thicker stuff to fill in some of the bigger gaps i'm gonna get those sealed up and then uh, we want to start signing very soon uh but if anybody's got any questions as far as right now let me know drop a comment uh, and i'll attend to those and help you answer any questions that you might have but let's get back to these windows and get it going So we found our front door that we're gonna put in. Found it on a Facebook marketplace, but it's the perfect fit. Uh, it even matches our windows pretty well with the with the windows up there, uh, and it even has uh, the frame, so we don't have to worry about getting the door frame put in. So a lot of people you can find like just the door. But uh, to find it with the frame, this actually came out of this guy's house that uh, was built in like 1930-something or something like that is what he said. So pretty nice piece. Uh, cool door handle here. It's also got a... Uh, I don't have the key, so we'll have to switch out that, that uh, lock there. But uh, pretty cool on the back side. I'll show you that when we get it out of the truck here. Uh, but it'll lock uh, from the inside. So let's get this thing out gonna go right there all right so this is what you would see like inside the house uh, this side of the door like I said it's gonna be a perfect fit won't do too much uh, shimming got a glass glass knob pretty cool this is actually pretty neat too so when you shut the door right now it just locks itself behind with this little piece but if you twist this down and pull that when you go in and out the door, it'll just kind of stay open. So pretty neat. It's also got a, a latch in there for, for this handle. But if you want it to lock every time the door shuts, there you go. Yep, that's gonna be the front door.
Here's a look at the uh, inside of the window and the sealant just around there and in the corners there. Turned out pretty good. We'll go check out the outside, show you what that looks like. Let's see, so exterior, uh, you know, we have the uh, the back rod in there, so we covered up everything, sealed that in. Um, we got a couple of our shims that are sealed in there good. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have the siding, you know, overlap a little bit here. And then uh, we'll also seal when the siding comes across something like... So, you know it'll be hanging out but we'll seal in there all the way around the the window as well once we get the siding all done this one. okay so that'll be it for this video uh, make sure to like and subscribe uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below um, basically, we're, we're getting this thing pretty much all dried in. Uh, you've seen the front door that we just got, so we're going to get that in the next video. we got some, some cool little things happening around the outside, even with some mobile home anchors uh, to tie down the building. Um, but I would like to thank uh, Billy, uh, my brother Gavin, and uh, Mikey for helping me with the roof, uh, because that was a task on, on its own. It's an 8x12 pitch. You know, it may not look like much in the video, but it's it's pretty steep uh and just doing that ridge cap was not something i was comfortable doing so we had mikey come out and get that on there for us real quick uh, but pretty happy with how everything's turning out so y'all stay tuned for the next parts of the of the cabin build and we'll see you later see you